So um, I guess this can be the official start of our Monday, June 27th, uh, 6.30 p.m. Uh, Norton Conservation Commission meeting. And as uh, is required for these remote meetings, we need to um, start with the preamble and Dan, if you're able. Uh, pursuant to Governor, <clears throat> excuse me, pursuant to Governor Dave's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, GL Chapter 38, Section 18, and the Governor's March 15th, 2020 order imposing strict limitation on the number of people that may gather in one place. This meeting of the Norton Conservation Commission will be conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with the right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found at the end of this agenda. Members of the public attending this public hearing slash meeting virtually will be allowed to make comments if they were to do so during the portion of the hearing designated for public comment by raising their hand virtually or pressing star nine if participating by phone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so, despite best efforts, we will post on the Norton Table website, www.nortonmediacenter.org, an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. All right, thank you, Dan. We're, we're just gonna introduce everybody. We have our director, John Thomas. Uh, Meg and uh, Harp is our assistant. She's participating. Uh, I'm uh, the chair, Julian Kish. We have Ron O'Reilly, Dan Pearson. I was gonna say Peter Wiggins, but I know you're the mayor and you don't have time for all of this. Uh, Mark Fernandez and Carrie Schneider. Uh, Absent tonight, unfortunately, uh, is Lisa, our Lisa Carosa and Tom of Best. Hopefully they will be with us next time. Now, we're in the, I, I have to bring this up. So, John, you mentioned last time that we are making the transition from remote Zoom meetings to in-person meetings. That is, as I understand, it's still scheduled for July 25th. That's correct. And where would those meetings um, that those meetings be held? Is that the the library or the Norton? The, the, the Norton Public Library is where we're scheduling to have those. And for right now, they are scheduled to be the same exact time. Uh, as we progress through the months, I think we're going to have to push it back to seven or so, something like that. Um, but I'll get I'll get more firm times as we progress through the uh, the months. All right, so we'll just uh, note that in our next meeting, which is also scheduled to be Zoom, that's on July 11th. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know if any participants tonight need to be aware of that transition, but uh, it is in the works. So our first uh, item on the agenda is new public hearings. We do not have any listed, um, and so we will continue forward to uh, previously held and continued public hearings. First item is DP file number 250-1070, which is uh, 080 Street for WIDAC Share Corporation. According to the agenda, they have requested a continuance until July 11th. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to continue file uh, 250-1070 to the July 11th meeting of the commission. Motion made by Dan and seconded by? Second. By Ron. So voice the roll call vote, uh, starting with Dan and Ron. Aye. Aye. Carrie and Mark. Aye. Aye. And I saw an aye come out of Mark, even though you were muted, but that's fine. I, I will throw in an aye. So the motion carries that 
that uh, hearing is continued till July 11th. Next item is um, a notice of intent, file number 250-1093 for 70 Oak Street. Uh, they have also requested a continuance until July 11th. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to continue file DEP 250-1093 to the July 11th meeting of the commission. Motion Second. made by Dan and seconded by Ron. A roll call vote. Uh, starting with Dan and Ron. Aye. Aye. And continuing with Carrie and Mark. Aye. Aye. And I'll throw in an aye. That motion carries. Uh, trial number 250-1093 is continued until uh, July 11th. Our, our next up is file number 250-1103. Concerning an ANRAD for 355 Old Colony Road. Um, and that is a small triangular portion uh, just over the, the knoll uh, after the intersection of 123 and uh, Worcester Streets. Uh, and they had a couple of outstanding items, um, as I understand it. Uh, and I think there was a plan adjustment required. And we did, I guess we got a number. I don't know if a number was available last time. Mr. Thompson, I think you're the representative uh, on this yes, project. We are. Yes, I am. Um, we did get the number. My name's Ken Thompson for the record. Um, we did get the uh, DEP file number. We did not complete getting the uh, plan updated, but it was just putting the abutters notification and the stamp on it. And we'll have that done. I was hoping we could condition it that we we can't do anything until we file that with you. Yeah, I I don't know. I looked at our our draft order. We. The difficulty is we can't really issue it because the stamp has to be denoted on the on the condition. So, I, I, John, do you have a, an opinion on that? Um, I mean, we're not going to be receiving any new information. The wetland flags have been confirmed. I mean, as long as um, you know we can get that stamp tomorrow, um, you know, with the plan at red you know, rend um, renditions or um, revisions done, um, you know, I can issue that, you know, per the commission's discretion. Um, you know, it's up to the commission. I mean, the only thing that I need is a stamp because that's what the, that what, what's required um, on the plan. So, you know, I think in having the abutters notices on there, I think that's something, if the commission is open to it, we could condition it. Um, and approve it, but you know, if there's any sort of reservation, then I leave it up to the commission to make that determination. Well, as I understand it, this does not uh, allow any specific work. This is just a, a finding. Yeah, this is this is an ANRAD finding. So this is just a finding for it's not approving any work. It's just confirming the resource areas. That's why I say, you know, no work's going to be associated with this. It's just the confirmation of resource areas. Um, you know, all I'm all I'm waiting for is a stamp plan. All right, I I have no problem with it being closed. With obviously the condition that uh, the stamp has to be there before it can be issued officially. Uh, anyone else have a concern about that or opinion? So. Um, that being the case, uh, I think we can consider a motion to close uh, with the condition that the stamp be obtained before the uh, ORAD can be issued. So moved. Motion by Ron, seconded by? Second. Um, seconded by Carrie. Uh, the motion is to close the public hearing for uh, uh, file number 250-1103. Um, and uh, so a roll call vote starting with Dan and Ron. Aye. Aye. 
and Carrie and Mark. Aye. Aye. And I'll throw in an aye. So the, um, uh, the public hearing is closed. I, I guess the question is, since we don't have a whole lot piled up behind this, uh, maybe we can consider a motion. Uh, do, do people have their copies of the uh, uh, proposed draft of the NRAD available? Uh, it's very straightforward. Um, the only item missing is the indication of who stamped the plan. So if uh, anyone wants to offer a motion on the conditional issuing of the ORAD, depending on the availability of the stamp on the plant. Uh, so moved. And do we have a second? Second. Motion made by Dan, seconded by Ron to issue the ORAD pending availability of the um, engineer stamp. Um, again, roll call vote, beginning with Dan and Ron. Aye. Aye. And Carrie and Mark. Aye. Aye. I will throw in an aye as well. And John, it is in your hands. Our next. It's in Ken's hands, and then I'll take it from there. I've already sent the email. All right. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank Have you. Have a good holiday. Uh, our next item concerns the notice of intent at 199 Plain Street for Norton Water and Sewer. Uh, and uh, as I'm. As far as I'm aware, that we do not have a number yet for that uh, project. As far as I know, we do not. We I didn't. Have. We do not. Yes. Yeah, I spoke briefly to Megan just before the meeting, and she says, "I guess the uh, applicant says um, EP is very far behind." Um, Another supply chain issue. Yeah, I talked to DEP today. They're swamped more than more than they usually are. Well, <laughs> considering it's the Wetland Protection Act, being swamped is appropriate. But uh, so it sounds like we need a uh, a motion to continue. Uh, um, second. All right, so we have a motion made by Ron, seconded by Dan for a continuation of uh, the Notice of Intent, 1999 Plain Street for Norton Water and Sewer. Uh, it continued until July 11th. Roll call vote, starting with uh, Ron and Mark. Aye. Aye. And Dan and Kerry. Aye. Aye. And I'll throw in an aye, so the motion carries. Um, Next up on the um, agenda is request for uh, certificates of compliance. There are two, and um, it looks like they both have been given the green light with no outstanding issues. First item is DP file number 250-1004 concerning 22 uh, Maplewood Ave. Avenue, and uh, it's the modification of a driveway, uh, and um, it it says the inspection is is fine. There's no no issues. Is that correct, John? Yeah, that driveway was put in just fine. Um, they just to kind of give you some backstory. There's a new owner there, and they're looking to repair the uh, deck that's currently on the back. So I told them to go through the process and close out all the old pre-existing permits before they come in with a new application. So this is part A of the whole entire uh, process for them. Uh, so they're they're contacting a surveyor to come in and uh, provide them some uh, information for the repair and potential extension of a deck. So that's what they're they're planning on doing. So just so the commission's aware of it. 
So, I mean, I at one point we were told that decks are exempt and are basically administrative. Uh, is that is so the, 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 prop, the properties in the floodplain? That's the only um, reason for this for okay. a permit. So that's the that's the purpose and reason for the notice of intent application. So just for my information, if it were just out of the floodplain, it, it would be strictly administrative. Yeah, I would I would definitely warrant the administrative uh, approval for those kind of things. And I already do that uh, just to inform the commission that if it does lie with outside the outside the buffer or any sort of other resource areas, I do provide that uh, to the applicants as long as I go out and verify that the wetlands or resource areas are where they are and they're not within any other sensitive resource areas. So I do make sure that all projects here in town are following the rules and regulations. And then I also ask them, you know, if there's any additional work that they potentially plan on doing. So that way I can prepare them and let them know kind of what the, uh, you know, rules would be for any sort of those activities. All right. So, but for this particular um, file, 250-1004, uh, this project is in compliance and we can issue a certificate of compliance. That's correct. Uh, so I would be looking for such a motion. Uh, so moved. Motion made and second. Second. Seconded. So made by Dan, seconded by Mark. Uh, roll call vote starting with Ron and Mark. Oh, I don't uh, know if Ron just. I don't know if Ron. I did an I. Okay. We lost the picture, but the soul is still there. Um, and we have, uh, Carrie and, um, and picture got. Hi. So, so it was Dan, you, you have a yes up there and Mark, you threw in a yes. All right. I think we got, I got, I think we got all the eyes and I'll throw in an eye. So that motion carries. Uh, the next item is. Certificate of Compliance for file number 250-452-115 Burke Street. Um, and again, there are no items issued, I mean, uh, listed as outstanding. Um, and that a Certificate of Compliance is appropriate. That's correct. Um, the, the applicant did follow all the conditions within the order. The uh, posts that were required to be uh, installed were installed. Placards were placed by myself, and uh, the owner and I discussed kind of, I guess he's moving, so there's a house for sale now on 115 Burt Street, so, <laughs> All right. so that's, that's what's going on. Okay, I think we can uh, entertain a motion to issue a, a COC for 115 Burt Street for a file number in particular 250. Uh, 452. So moved. Uh, motion made by Dan and seconded by? Second. By Ron. Uh, roll call vote starting with Dan and Kerry. Aye. Aye. Ron and Mark. Aye. Aye. And I'll throw in an aye so that um, motion carries for full certificate compliance for file number 250-452. Um, we have one set of draft minutes uh, would be June 13th. I uh, have... Hang on, I might have a few questions. Um... See. Oh, unless anybody else uh, has anything to say. Um, let's see where. Oh yeah, there's a. Well, yeah. Oh, um, there's a sentence on the first page uh, at the bottom of comments um where the me the absent member uh know that 
the area is mostly gravel and that they will likely maintain it as such. And I'm wondering, are we requesting that they maintain it as such? Does that make sense? Um, so this is the, the, this is the first one, the one with, um, and I, granted that person wasn't there at, at, at that meeting. This is the, the Will Chandler, Weston and Sampson. And this is like, the second of the last sentence. I mean, maybe it's not that uh, important, but I didn't understand the, uh, or should we just strike? Well, the I, I mean, currently it's, it's, currently it's gravel. I think they're going to put a support for the, um, the generator to get it up out of the, the floodplain, and I assume they'll just replace whatever gravel gets disturbed. Um, that was the intent was okay, because they're so because they're in the floodplain. They don't want to put any more additional fill in that area because of the floodplain. So whatever is disturbed, they're going to try to match the existing grade elevation of whatever it is. I can reword it if it if it makes more sense that way. Yeah, I think I, whatever I suggested, Megan, was probably the wrong way to, uh, I didn't understand. So, um, right, um, but, but bear in mind, as minutes, this doesn't establish the project. The, the project is established by the order of conditions and John inspecting it. So I don't know if it's going to matter if it's just a little late for purposes of Records. Okay, well, it's that's all right. I just had that quite well, now. Let's see, one or two other questions. Oh, yes. Um, uh, okay, so the Dana Jr. one again in the comments, uh, I'd say about let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth on down. It says, as long as they provide elevation stock grads for the as-built plan that should be grading yeah okay right that was one it should be I, spot spot grades not stock grade grads spot grades i'll totally blame vacation brain on that I mean, it should be spot spot grads not grades spot what? grades yeah spot grades okay so spot grades or spot grading um well is there their elevation shots on the plant. Yeah. Right. I that's su that's surveyor lingo right there for you. For all I know, that was a, a, a some kind of vocabulary I know, so I just want to do uh, uh, make sure. Yeah. Um, they're, they're they're graduates from stocking shelves at uh, Market Basket. That's what I might be doing, but anyway. Um, so okay. Uh, I think those are the ones I want to bother the commission with. Uh, and I've already given my other suggestions to uh, Megan. They're just generally minor. So uh, you can blame me. I sometimes mumble my words. It's fine. Oh, well, it's it's nobody's fault. I think it's uh, unless it's mine for <laughs> not knowing what this, I'm talking about. This is voice interpreting. Um, text is that correct? Yeah, I mean, this, is, this is me. This is me being back from vacation, just kind of. No, so, there's no. So no, bad. I mean, yeah, fine. We know what's going on, so uh, yeah. I, I guess I, I don't have any more comments unless anyone wants to tell me whether um, "blow" is capitalized because of the, it's named after the city in Mississippi or not capitalized. Because Tupelo is a plant, and the city was named after Tupelo plant. But I don't where know you, if the where are you seeing Tupelo? Oh, this is just um, oh goodness, what is it? Uh, oh, it's uh, Ken Thompson Wetlands. 
250-XXXN Rad for 355 Old Colony Road. And Tupelo Tupelo is a plant. It's also called black gum. Yeah, I'm I'm just wondering about the. Uh, it's I, I'm being facetious here. I'm just I'm just being facetious. Uh, it's named after Tupelo, Mississippi, in which it should be capitalized, or it's named after the Tupelo plant, uh, which is something different, I think, and so, it should be. Yeah. So actually, all all plants lowercase. All plants should be lowercase. Um, the Latin names, it's only the first, first letter. So for instance, for, um, for sweet pepper bush, it'd be Clethra alnifolia with the C uppercase and the A lowercase. So two yeah. words. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Well, oh, those Scarborough soils. I think Scarborough should be capitalized. Anyway, I'll stop now. Well, um, okay. I, I won't comment. I, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I was just, it, I was being, it, I, I was being it, light. You know, the, I, I made fun of the internet before, but you know, the internet is, is really screwing around. I mean, my daughter asked me, well, what is POTUS? What is SCOTUS? And I, I said, well, as far as I'm concerned, they're totally disrespectful designations for those offices and institutions, it's like calling the president Prez, and and I don't go along with it. But I, I don't find any problem with this format here, and uh, I don't need, think we need to change it myself. Anyone, anyone want to offer a motion to approve? Uh, <clears throat> the uh, we have a motion made by Ron and seconded by I'll second. Uh, Dan, so a roll call vote to approve the minutes of June 13th, uh, beginning with Dan and Carrie. Aye. We know I've seen because I was not there. Oh, yes, good point. Uh, and now we have Mark and Ron. Aye. And I'll throw in an aye, so the motion carries. Uh, so any uh, items to comment on with regard to site inspections or other staff items? We are receiving all the stormwater management pollution prevention plans. Uh, we should be receiving one for this week with the rain event that we re received today. Um, we had one violation today over at 65 Plain that I got out there to hang a little sign and send out a violation notice. Um, I guess they decided to use a little machinery in there without putting up sediment controls. So I'm um, hoping to hear back from them. Um, besides that, I mean, we have a couple ongoing projects in town. Ron, obviously, you know, you know of the, the lake management plan and everything like that that happened. So uh, I have to talk to the town manager and make sure that um, notices to the town and also to the abutters is a little bit more informative. Um, we're just going to work together and try to figure out a better way to handle that in the future um, because, you know, post and signs, they're not, they're good, but they're not great. Um, so maybe a butter notifications and then maybe a sign downtown uh, at the intersection of 123 and 140, I think would definitely help um, to kind of just let people know that are driving by that there's certain activities that are going to be happening uh, in certain areas of town and just make sure that everybody's aware of the potential treatment areas. So anything else we need to discuss before we load up the so meeting? We've got quite a handful of projects coming up for the 11th. We've got the large scale Pine Street project uh, that's proposing 40 units or more. Um, we've got another small scale project uh, for septic repair. It's in the riverfront, should be a pretty simple um, approval, but just because it's in the riverfront, um, I had them file an RDA, um, and then we have a couple other, um, I guess we have an ANRAG coming in for another Pine Street project for a six-lot potential subdivision, that one, uh, and then um, just trying to think what else we have. Um, Megan, do you know anything off the top of your head? I'm kind of blanking here. Well, that new Pine Street one that's coming in. Yeah, that's the one that I just said, yeah. 
we have the one Galway. No. Oh, Gilbert's Way. Gilbert's, Gilbert's Way. Way. They're they're putting on a deck. Um, and there's a vernal pool within proximity of that one. So they're filing a notice of intent. Um, and I think that's it for real, um, uh, solid projects that are coming in for the 11th. Um, but just be prepared because I know that the, there's going to be a lot of abutters and a lot of people at the meeting for the, uh, 40 lot project for Pine Street. So, um, be patient. And, you know, I will say, since I'm not going to be there, um, just make sure that their questions and comments are tailored towards environmental. Uh, the planner just recently left. Uh, so we're looking for a new planner in town. Um, so a lot of their questions are going to be, you know, mostly planning and traffic related. Uh, so I would just defer them to those um to make sure that the planning board is aware and their meeting is right after, I believe the day after conservation. So, um, you know, if they have any questions, they can ask the planning, uh, planning, uh, department, those and the planning board. So, you know, that's my only suggestion, just focus strictly on the conservation matters. I've reached out to the peer review consultant. They did a preliminary assessment and evaluation. Um, but we're looking to get more information from them, uh, to really, um, you know, look through the notice of intent application that they submitted. Okay. Anybody else have anything to discuss? So I guess, uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. A motion made Excuse by Ron. Ron. And, Best wishes. Uh, I'm, yeah, the next time I see everybody, I, it'll be in person. So I'm very excited. Oh, okay. You need to, you need to bring pictures. I will bring lots of pictures. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess uh, I guess I need to find the leave button here. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everybody. Have a good, Thank you. good night.